From the moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me. I craved the strength and certainty of steel, for she is immortal. Hello, and welcome back to another episode. So, last episode, we ran into a little bit of a pickle. The Berserker Omega was in the list of enemies on both missions, if I remember correctly. And the first mission, we didn't have to fight him because we boosted and uh, got rid of the Omega. The second mission, we boosted and it was still there. So, that could be very bad for us because we might be getting to the point in the campaign where the berserker omega is going to be showing up a lot more frequently and as we saw last episode overwatch is no longer a counter he gets reactions when we shoot him in overwatch as far as i'm aware we can't stun him we don't really have that many good ways to kill him the reaper still seems like a really solid counter um and i saw a comment suggesting maybe leaving the reaper uh as a kind of just like leave him off to the side and any mission i need to send him out on i can and that's not a bad idea um however what i'm worried about is like i said that we might be seeing the berserker omega a lot more frequently now and I don't know if our Reaper uh, he, I don't he just won't be able to be everywhere at once so I don't know part of me wants to do that part of me thinks there's gonna be too many Omegas to deal with anyway another suggestion was to um, use a uh, someone with a sword with Bladestorm and um, put them next to the Berserker so that's another option the only problem with that is i have to deal enough damage before it gets close to my blade storm guy otherwise like we shoot him once he runs up and just clobbers our blade storm guy they're dead so it is definitely a strategy but i don't think it's a counter per se especially since i don't think every team has melee and I've also read on the comments of the mod page itself that apparently it can get a reaction from damage over time effects. So I want to try fire, but I'm also very scared because if I light it on fire, theoretically it shouldn't be able to do anything. But I'm pretty sure actually no, we've lit a berserker on fire before and they just attacked me anyway. So I see no reason why the berserker omega wouldn't also do that. Um, another option is the frost grenade <coughs> and I can't imagine we can't freeze it like we have to be able to freeze it unless the mod developer really is just <laughs> unless they really do just like watching people suffer um, I can't see why we couldn't freeze it now the problem with that is we have a single frost grenade so we have basically two counters right now. We have the Reaper, which should counter, theoretically still. Uh, I mean, even if we can't use the move that freezes the Berserker Omega in place, Banish should still theoretically counter it. Um, we should have enough damage output as long as we have full ammo to be able to counter the Omega. And then the Ice Grenade should also theoretically counter it. But like I said, that's, that's the problem we're looking at is we have two counters and what eight squads seven squads that is simply not enough counters so oh one thing i was thinking about doing though is um while most of our a team is out of commission let's continue training uh oh yeah here we are let's continue training our proxy in um, because I want him to get to, I think, Major? I think, normally I would say Jammer, but I didn't last time, 
I have this option and I don't think I'm gonna pick it a second time because trial by fire is gonna be very useful because I do plan on adding new soldiers soon especially a medic for our A team I have said that like however many episodes ago um, but yes I definitely would like to get a medic going for our A team and having the ability to just like rapid fire upgrade a bunch of squaddies um, would be very very handy so we are going to do trial by fire um, so our proxian is gonna be gone for eight days oh my lord um, but that's okay cuz what I want is wait do we have no so we have squad size upgrades but that's not what I'm going for I'm going for tactical infiltrations where infiltration Infiltrations for squads of six or seven soldiers will take less time because I can take seven soldiers with me the problem is That there's not a tremendous amount of missions I can actually take seven people on without over infiltrating and having to uh, boost on like every single mission so yeah this this would be huge for me to be able to start fielding more soldiers and that's kind of why i haven't made those extra people yet is because i really want to get this and um this unlocks at at least major so we need to finish the the proxy needs to do what he's doing now and then do one more rank so in about 16 ish days we should have that um also what is this um, all the bullet meisters, bullet arts hit multiple enemies around. Yeah, we're just gonna grab that. <laughs> I don't. I'm not even gonna bother with uh, looking at the cost because, um, yeah, there's a, we have a few people with bullet meister abilities and having a yo, whoa, hold on, the, oh my god, the electric bullet is a bullet meister art and that did like what 24, 30 damage. Imagine that in an AOE, you just absolutely destroy a bunch of robots in a, like a short range that would be disgusting but that would make f uh, fire bullets way stronger because that gives uh, our guy because I the problem I've run into because we have light him up on one of our dudes who has bullet meister abilities and the issue is the AOE or the the bullets that deal the damage over time aren't as good as just shooting twice so having an AOE ability on that is going to make that significantly more valuable because it's like okay well I could shoot twice or I could like you know shoot once with a fire bullet that might take out like three people uh, or at least prevent them from attacking plus it does a lot of damage if I remember correctly um, dynamic deployment could be very helpful because um, we could theoretically do the thing I was talking about with the Reaper uh, have our Reaper ready to ra uh, dynamic deploy on basically any mission and theoretically I guess we wouldn't if we were to do that the Reaper could show up on basically any mission assuming they don't get injured uh, okay yeah fine with 50 supplies, we can we can justify that. Um, plus, I've never actually used it, so I'm very curious how that counts. Um, this could be useful, but for now, I'm not going to spend too much more money. You need to figure out how dynamic deployment actually works. Because I know I'm like 90% sure we have to equip a jetpack to the person that we want to deploy dynamically equip yeah anyone equipped with booster jets via high altitude so let's let's give that a whirl you know that could actually be kind of cool have three soldiers specifically designed for um, reinforcing any squad like they just never go on a mission um like they, they'll they're never assigned to any one mission um they're always just reinforcements um, but have the ability to call them in at a moment's notice uh, that could be pretty cool and having a tremendous amount of soldiers could be valuable plus that uh, that makes it easier to uh, we can infiltrate and we don't have to worry about um, bringing more soldiers with us 
Uh, the only issue is I haven't the faintest idea where the booster jet actually is. I'm assuming it's going to be under the uh, engineering Commander. in the proving grounds. Ah, so it is. Yeah, I think I think this is what we want. Let's do that, and we're going to bump it over the experimental rounds. Illyrium jets. Wait, hold on. Oh wait, hold out. Um, we have. I think booster jets are the lower version, so Illyrium jets would be the... Yeah, so I think Illyrium jets is probably the way to go here. Okay, but the problem is, those are gonna take a bit longer. Um, you know, booster jets just take a single day. I'm gonna leave it in the queue, just because, um, in case we need the first one, it's better safe than sorry, just to make sure we actually have um these two things so like i said it's a single day i i can I, i'll be fine living with that um so i don't actually remember if we had a mission queued up but we do have this queued up though uh the problem is i don't think we have a squad currently available for that because uh our a team was put in the hospital uh would love to do that would l I would love to do a liberation mission, but as I said, hospital, optal. Uh, we have two people. Uh, we could take Hellfire and Cow Boom Good. I could put us up to four people, and I guess I could make more people, but not really looking to do that right this second. I don't, I don't want to just grab a bunch of people from different squads. If possible, I want to keep them relatively with their squads. Alright, six days, 15 hours, start liberating the region. Ooh, that one's hard to turn down, though. Six, six days? <sighs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do the thing I just said I didn't want to do, and we're just gonna grab random guys from different squads. I was gonna say, with like a three day, four hour, we'll probably have to boost. Are our sparks beat up? Oh. He sure do be. Well, I mean, we could send in Adam Chunk. Okay, let's, let's see what our squad consists of. Oop, that is not what I clicked. Uh, let's see what our squad consists of if I bring in the Chunkster. And then, yeah, okay, this is still. That's five people. I think that's pretty decent. What are what's our expected enemy? Um, ten to twelve if we fully infiltrate seven to nine, and then Mox. I think that's pretty doable with five people. Um, I am gonna go ahead and boost all their gear, but I think we can manage. Um, all right. Well, you know the deal. I'll be right back. I actually just changed my mind. Uh, what I'm gonna do is bring up the wheel. I'm gonna bring a single soldier with us, a single new soldier, um, so I can start working on the, like, having a medic for our A-team. Like I said, I want to make uh, at least one new soldier for every team, but medics are probably the priority. Now, the issue is I don't have any of this prepared, as I didn't think I was going to be adding a soldier soon. Boink. Oh, hold on. Let me put it on the other monitor. There we are. And let me remember to actually turn on the sound. That way you can hear the wheel. All right, let's ball. All right. Let's see. All right, so they wanted a scout um, and close range if possible. Well, I can still have some form of scouting in the form of uh, scan protocol, but I don't really want my medic on the front line, so that is, I'm, I probably won't do that part of it. But I will do the, uh, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to work it that into. All right, so 
I went ahead and changed everyone's gear and as you can see made a new person who I will go over here in just a moment. Um, but yeah, so I gave him his gear back. I believe all he was missing was his rib jack and the armor. So I think his loadout's back to normal. Uh, you had everything. Uh, you're not unchanged. Uh, you got an extra grenade launcher and you could pocket a extra grenade as well. Um, I feel like there's maybe something else you had. But what that would be does not ring a bell. So yeah, grenade launcher uh, with two grenades should be good for our boy Kawabunga. I gave him the um, Mark II gauntlet. Or not apparently. Wait, wait, hold on, did I give it to... Oop, hold on, did you? I think you already had a gauntlet, so you okay. Hold on, let me let me make another one of those. Uh, bu, 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 uh, here we are. All right, yeah. Cause I was say I replaced the gauntlet with a Mark II gauntlet. All right, so now, yeah, he got a. They both got new grenades or grenade launchers and gauntlets. Um, and now to look at our newest soldier. They said they like orange and scouting. Um, they wanted close range weapons, but I need them to be a support, so uh, did not do that. But I did do. Um, here we are. So I gave them the hacking because our Proxian does have the ability to hack things. However, he does not have the ability to take control over larger units, as we saw. So being able to, for example, take over like a sectopod could be very valuable um so yeah hacker be also because the interference protocol is very valuable as a support tool too and scanning felt like it was pretty self-explanatory for someone who wants to be a scout um so yeah scanning protocol pretty big uh, i also used the scout tree for the very first time or the scout um starting trait so we're gonna get a free battle scanner every single mission now I was torn between using the zap gun and the hollow targeter and I decided to go into hollow targeting. Now two reasons, one, uh, any unit seen by our medic is going to be permanently visible, so scouting, um, however, to pair with our battle scanner at uh, gunnery sergeant, any uh, anything marked by the hollow targeter is permanently visible. Okay, cool. But anything targeted by the battle scanners are permanently visible. Now that's really cool. So we can chuck our free battle scanner off into an area we expect enemies, and anything we see once we get to permanent tracking will be visible for the rest of the mission. So I think this could be a pretty cool combo um, and a very interesting way to be a scout. Uh, and if we so desire, we could probably build an additional um, battle scanner if we want to. Um, plus, also, airstrikes are going to be fun, so uh, that'll be cool. But yeah, so this um, she is going to be on our A-team. She's going to be our new medic. Uh, so run, to run through her new gear, um, because she's on our A-team, I wanted to give her some pretty solid gear. Uh, so plasma rifle, I mean, kind of expected. I gave her Gremlin Mark II, a laser pistol, a hollow targeter, and an arc blaster because we just have these sitting around. So I figured I'd uh, give her one. Uh, that way she can still zap things. It won't be the better zap that we have with the other character. And if we are going to drop anything, it'll probably be this arc blaster in favor of a second battle scanner. But um, yeah, we do go with a hollow targeter Mark II and a med kit. So, uh, as for augments, I went with the tier 1 augments, but I gave her a better torso because she's not carrying a um, ceramic plating. And because she's not carrying ceramic plating, she has zero ablative armor, and this will give it to her. So, now, if she is shot, it will hopefully not hurt her directly. I also wanted to go with this because everyone on the A-team is immune to explosives and everything, and I did not want her to be the exception. Well, minus the spark, but like, I, I can't augment the spark, so, uh, yeah. But yeah, with all that being said, I think 
we are good to go. Oh, there we are. Let's go uh, get our 90, 984 supplies. Oh, that's so disappointing. Alright, we actually don't have any more soldiers. I'm sorry, but we, we cannot do that mission. Give me my supplies, please. Uh, seize that and resources. Still can't do that. There we are. Got our stuff, for the Brazilian corridor. which is good because we spent quite a bit of money on upgrades just now. I forgot to upgrade everyone's armor on the last claw that just went out, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, they have a medic now, so worst case scenario, well, worst case scenario, everyone dies, but like re re most realistic worst case scenario, our medic can just heal up anyone who gets shot, so uh, they'll be fine. Don't be a baby, Duncan. Say da da. Um, so I think we're just gonna keep on chilling here. No, yes, actually, yes, we will scan at the Templar HQ because we have a lot of people injured. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and scan here. Our minigun's done. Very cool. So now that our minigun is finished, uh, we are now working on booster jets, which should be cool. And uh, like I said, I would like to, I think I want to try to make like three soldiers that I can just like drop in on any mission needed. I think that'd be pretty fun, but we'll see about that. Another mission I still can't do. Liberate, can't do it, don't have people. Another mission, surprise, surprise, also can't do. They all know people. Um, how are we doing? Are we almost done with any of these missions? Keystone's almost ready. But I don't really want to go in any of these places until we over infiltrate. Um, yeah, because their mox is getting, or, um, advent's getting kind of scary. Ah, alright, keep scanning. Please stop sending me constant missions. Ooh, I actually do want this one though. Ah. Uh, Eight days, seven hours. We could just wait until a team finishes another mission and try to tackle that. Probably these guys. Who do we send out? Uh, actually, wait, would Grizzly be faster? Mm, I'm not sure. Well, cause, yeah, I do want to do this mission. I want to liberate more regions, because more regions liberated means more resources, means less missions I have to ignore, because I don't have the people for it. Let's scan for a little bit longer, and hopefully someone, one of these missions, finishes up. You already know how that's gonna go. Booster jets finished. I said that should be interesting. Good lord. Gross. Alright. Uh, no, not that one. Yeah, I say, how are you guys doing? Go ahead and do it. Enemies plus Mox. Ooh, six hours. We're gonna have to do this one here in a sec. Uh, we'll just do that mission. Boost until that's Our ready. Mission together is complete, Commander. Oop. A new chance to uh -huh. disrupt the Elder's plans has oh. presented itself, and my followers are eager to proceed. I want to find the next mission that involves trying to beat up Mox. Here's the problem. Uh, there's this one, which will stop the Mox project, but this this just isn't stopping them as a whole, but stopping them from upgrading themselves further. Which is would be nice. That definitely would be convenient. But the problem is that's not actually stopping Mox. I don't think. Yeah, this is just not, Yeah, I don't know. From what I understand, we're supposed to be able to stop Mox once and for all. But I don't think it is this one. So yeah, like I said, this just says it stops them from completing an upgrade. And not actually stopping Mox. 
Well, either way, right this second, I think I want to hold off on starting another mission because we're kind of low on people. Alright, so we're at 100%. Um, how are we looking enemy-wise? A lot of enemies, and our squad isn't, like, super high rank. No Berserker Omega, as far as I can tell, but I think we are going to boost. It did lower it. Not nearly as much as I would have liked it to, but it did lower it. Uh, 23 enemies. I mean, we've dealt with that before. I'm just a little worried, but I think we can handle this. This is probably going to be this team's hardest mission yet, so let's get it done. Menace 1-5. The Advent Troop Transport is nearby. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Okay, so... This is gonna be tricky, but we did... It looks like, yeah, we gave them upgrades, so that's nice. We have, um, for the most part, really good gear on everybody. So... We do stand a chance here, but this is by no means gonna be an easy mission. Mode since, yeah, say if I have to guess, we're already gonna Hostile spot some detected. people. Ooh, we're gonna spot a lot of people. That is not good. Well, I think I want to move to engage this group first and try to avoid this team. The problem is every time we get this map, it's always awful. Because there's a pod here, there's always a pod here, and nine times out of ten, there's gonna be a pod right here. So there's a very high chance that we're about to be fighting multiple pods. And with the pod sizes being so large, that's not going to do us any favors. Um, Gosh, let's just kind of scoot up here. Moving to designated position. Um, see, here's the issue. I want to take this high ground. But one, we can't see anything. Two, that puts us dangerously close to this group. So, once again, I think we're going to just kind of have to chill back Position here. Confirmed. And not take high ground. Because it's kind of too risky. Um, we're just going to overwatch. And next turn, now. engage. Let's just hit the overwatch all button. Oh, yeah. It was the last person, so it doesn't matter. What I'm hoping is, if we, in a perfect world, this pod will move slightly closer. Slightly. Slightly. Don't reveal us. Slightly, I say. I despise this game. Alright, well, that's probably going to reveal the other pod. Well, on the plus side, if it reveals the other pod, we could try to hack the, um, robot. And we missed. We didn't miss that. Ooh, we actually got a kill. That's handy. On the codex, no less, too. That's actually very handy. Please don't reveal the other pod. Please don't reveal the other pod. Huge blade storm. Okay, so we've actually dealt with a decent chunk of this pod already before we even get an action. If the other pod doesn't get activated, no, it totally did. Okay, and that's significantly bigger and scarier. Okay, well, we're gonna try to hack the Robo guys. So we need bullet sponges over there. Ooh. I hate this tile set. I don't know. Every single time we get the, the, the I, I just, the maps aren't randomized. I don't know why they aren't, but the maps aren't randomized. And every time we get this tile set, it's always abysmal. Um, okay, well, what are our options? So we could hack this guy or we could hack this guy. I'm thinking we hack this one. Ooh, ooh maybe not. The chance to control that's very low. So maybe this guy instead then. Um, I think we're also going to pop a scan protocol. It's free, might as well. Just so we know where everything is. 
we're gonna pop a free quick zap. Um, let's see, do you think quick zap works with chain lightning? I don't think it does. In fact, I'm pretty sure quick zap disables all my other options. Okay, so here's what we could do. Scoot over to here. Use quick zap. Stun this guy. Fantastic. <laughs> you're supposed to be stunned. Why are you standing? Uh, yeah, you're stunned for three actions. Fantastic. Alright, so now that he's stunned, what we could do is combat... Or not combat protocol. Um... Uh, who do, probably you. You're closer to the enemy, so they're more likely to go after you instead. So let's try to hack this guy. 76. It's always lower than it claims. Alright, fantastic, though. Whew. That would have made a bad situation significantly worse. Alright, so now we have a bullet sponge over there, which may or may not activate another pod. Click here to find out. Okay, that did not activate another pod. Alright, so yeah, you're gonna just be over there. You're gonna get shot. That's okay. That, that is your job. Your duty to us. Um, Alright, so what are important targets here? Um, We could throw a claymore. But, what would that accomplish? Not a whole lot. Um... If you don't have wrap- or you don't have light em up. So you're- you're gonna get one shot. Um... You can probably take something out. I'm tempted- I don't wanna deal with the Andromedon. But I also wanna deal with this guy. What, what's your deal? Who are you? You're elite trooper. I'd say I can't even see you anymore. Um, you could probably take this guy out. Yeah, let's um, let's rapid target the sectopod hunter, and then we're probably gonna try to scoot somewhere that gives us better cover. Can we still see him from here? We can. Fantastic. All right, uh, do you have light him up is the question. I don't think you do. So in that case, we're gonna do chain shot and hopefully kill you. Come on, 10 damage, 10 damage. Perfect, exactly 10 damage. All right, that's one scary enemy down. Um, these three will probably target this guy uh, he will likely shoot a grenade at us just because he's generally a douche. Um, I think we kind of want to just... If we could one-tap the Codex, that would be fantastic. Because I have a suspicion the Codex is going to try to disable our weapons and force us to move. Which is going to be very scary, seeing as how moving could lead to us moving into another pod. Um, do you have the ability to get bonus actions from sh uh, attacking things close to you? You're not even the right guy. Hold on. Do you have that ability? No, you're pretty low rank. Uh, do you have Kenjutsu? No, you're pretty low rank. Okay. Um. We could use this attack to then chain attack the Andromedon. And I think it might be what we do. The problem is, like, we just, we have to prioritize targets here. Uh, I would love to kill this mech. Because his AoEs could be a problem. The Codexes could disable our weapons, which could be problems. The Andromedon has acid grenades, which will shred our armor. Um... Yeah, there's really no great answer here. So yeah, I guess we're just gonna do what we got, uh, what we can, and come slash you, please kill. Fantastic. 
Um, we could. Yeah, I think we're just, we have to go in for a melee on something. Um, so if we were to attack him and have him do blade storm, when it dies, would the robot get an action? Because theoretically, that's the move here. Have it die on his turn. Let's try that. Oh, oh okay. I thought he killed him outright. Okay, so we're just going to leave the Andromeda on there. Because he, no matter what he does, he should theoretically die. Which should, in theory, make it so he isn't going to get an action. Okay, so now our sniper probably want to deal with the things closest to us. So... Ooh, I would very much like to shoot a rocket out here, though. That would be fun, and that would hit multiple targets. Okay, let's take stock. So you're stunned. We can kill you later. You're kind of a threat. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to use our first shot. Ooh, are you being flanked by the mech? Not... Currently, but you'd be very easy for that to happen, but we're gonna commit So first shot into you if we're really lucky, we'll just kill you out, right? Not quite very close, but not quite and then our second shot is gonna go into the codex Can we move it all? No, we can't. Okay. Yeah second shot into the codex not not into our heavy mech Which Okay, we graze, so it doesn't even matter. Okay. Oh, that's so annoying. I was hoping it would, like, split over here, or we would deal a lot more damage. That's so annoying. Okay, well... Oh, you're throwing knives still on your turn. That's so tragic. Okay, um... We need to flank the Viper. And I would very much love to... Uh, shoot a rocket over here because we can at least kill one of the codexes with a rocket i think uh five to nine versus four to nine actually maybe we should uh, shoot a grenade do you have the ability to shoot two grenades i don't think so no um yeah not quite wait he can no um yeah, not quite. Not yet. Yeah, well, okay. Actually, let's... Knockout should be a free action. Ooh, wait, I just realized where you are. You're totally being flanked. Well, we have to commit to the bit now. Um, so otherwise you don't get to do anything this turn. Besides knock him out. And we're gonna hope that our bullet sponge over here does a good job of bullet sponging. That's a meaty hit. The three damage on the codex is less than desirable. Ooh, you spawning over there is actually a big problem. Because you're now flanking almost our entire team. Which means you're definitely putting someone in the hospital. Well, we have heals, so... We'll live, I guess. Um, I don't think we really have a good... Yeah, we're just gonna move over to here to kill this viper. I don't think we have much of a better choice. Um, let's fire a pistol. Impressive. Okay, you need to do a fantastic job of bullet sponging for us, buddy. Okay, that should theoretically make it not get an action. X-ray neutralized. And if he does, this is gonna be awkward. <laughs> nice. Target asset located. Teleport to there and Sonic Bomb. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Yo, they look kind of cool in this uh, form. Well, not all of our abilities rely on. 
Oh, you're such a dirtbag. You're such a pile of garbage. I didn't even realize that was a, um... Yeah, I didn't even realize that was a, um, a stun lancer because I couldn't see what he looked like. That's so frustrating, and we're gonna take a lot of damage from that uh, side bomb now. That's really frustrating, actually. Okay, well... Um... Please. Okay, what to do... Let it, I'll, I'll say allowing me to change targets would be a good first step. Uh, we kind of have to deal with this Andromedon. So let's shoot it. And then Bladestorm should deal with that. Um, what are, what are your best choices here? The Stun Lancer could be valuable. We have to deal with these codexes or codices. We're also gonna have to deal with this guy. Yeah, I don't think we quite have the means to. I think we need to deal with the Overwatch first. So I guess micro missiles on these guys. Oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, well at least they're over there, I guess. That's away from us and hopefully less likely to immediately shoot one of us. Um, we could combat protocol that one and kill that, which is probably pretty valuable. Um, let's move out of the bomb. And then, yeah, I think we are going to combat protocol something. Except the codex that... Except the one I wanted to is no longer visible. Alright, that is... Pretty handy. We could just eat the damage and try to kill the, um... This guy. Oh, they're really spread out. Okay, well, you should die to the Psy Bomb. I think we need to deal with the Heavy Mech, because he's kind of a big threat. So I think we start with that. Okay, so now we might not be able to shoot with you, but we could fire a grenade off at something. Um, and it might be worth grenading this guy. Uh, I think we just take the shot here, actually. Yeah, let's just do that. And we grazed. Of course we grazed, that's how it always goes. We never- we can never not graze. That is just the rules of the world. Okay, well, let's... Do we, I say, do we have anyone who can deal with this guy or the codex over here? 71% chance. Because I want our sniper to go to high ground, but it's very risky that that's going to happen. All right, let's try to go for it and just hope that RNG isn't gonna completely screw us. Come on, kill it. Oh, let's go. That's actually really valuable. Okay, so we should still be able to see things from up here. Well, we can only see one thing from up here, but that's one thing less than we have to deal with. And it's a great shot. I mean, I'll take it. It's a kill, but... Uh, we could go in for an augmented strike here. The problem is no cover. Um, yeah, that would mean no cover anywhere. I really want that thing dead. What are the Codex's options here? I 
Alright, let's risk it for the biscuit. Hopefully the Codex will go after our other guy and not him. Alright, here comes Mox. They're kind of far away, so hopefully we can deal with this first. I thought reinforcements were coming immediately. Okay, how much damage did that just do to us? Heading out. So the Stun Lancer died. Let's do this. We kind of expected that. But how much damage did we take in the process? Took a beating from that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need to heal you up. You are not in a great way health wise. Alright, so that's better. You're still doing the Lord's work by just existing, really. Um, let's move you over here and just try to gun down the codex. Should have expected that. <laughs> Explain to me how you can't see that. Okay. Fine. Watch as you graze. Hey, we actually got the kill. Let's go. Alright, uh, reload. How long are you hacked for? Okay, nope. How long are you hacked for? Two alien turn starts. So ideally, we can get those rockets off first. Um. I say we save the heal for now. reload sequence. And we just kind of get our bearings again. Moving to position. Rock and roll. All right, definitely a rough way to begin this mission, but I think all things considered, we're still in a pretty good spot. And I'll put you up here, even though you're not probably gonna be able to see anything ever because sight lines on this specific building tile don't exist. Okay, let's conceal again. I'm on my way. If we can get a rocket off, that'd be perfect. Alright, let's push forward. Hopefully see Mox. Hostile pilot detected. Nah, that's Shut not Mox. Target. That's not Mox either. Oh, that's so inconvenient. Um Yeah. Oh, we might just have to kill the mech outright. Because, um, I don't really want to deal with this right this second. On the plus side, Haywire Protocol will be back soon. Also, if you think I'm about to go try to activate another pod while Mox is out there, you're the crazy. So we are 100% staying back here. Um... Ends in one alien turn start. So next turn the alien or the robot's gonna get in action. Which means we have to kill it. Is there anything we can do before we kill it? Um let's move up to here. This should not reveal us. Yeah, it's not showing us anything valuable. I'm not fighting an Sectopod when Mox is alive. I'm not fighting. Another one, because there's going to be a pot of four to five enemies plus the six, so that's going to be like 11, 10 to 12 enemies, basically. A small mission, really. Um, and that is a small mission I don't want to fight right now. Um, 
Your lack of shred is kind of painful. We need. We should probably give you AP rounds. Alright, um. Sorry to do this to you, man, but, uh. You know, you know how it's gotta be. Alright, this should hopefully give you a level up. Never mind. Greatest. Well, kill him with a pistol. Very interesting way to hold said pistol, but whatever, it got the job done. Alright, Overwatch. On Overwatch. Yes, they're leaving. That's fine by me. I think they're revealed permanently now. Ah, here comes Mox. A turn late. But where is the actual Mox? This is... The fake Mox. These are just the random soldiers we don't care about. Probably actually not a good position to put you in, but whatever. Um, Alright, if you can get this rocket here, that would be very nice. Fantastic. Love to see it. scout better but I also don't want to act or get spotted and s I don't do that. um hold on what level are you cuz you um do you have a thing where any enemy spotted is permanently revealed I don't think so Okay, um... I think what we're gonna do, come here, aid protocol, you... And we'll like slightly move forward, but like only enough to be into a position where we can hopefully shoot at mocks as they show up. And only if we're in full cover. Well, your full cover is here, I guess. And you have to scoot so you don't get spotted. Follow mode engaged. Guard mode activated. Weapons energized. I'm watching. Like I said, I am not dealing with this until Mox is dead. Ah, speak of the devil. On Overwatch. Yeah, I expected yeah, I didn't that. Get it. Okay. That was a valuable um whatever we gave him. Okay, so you're concealed, so here's what we're gonna do. We break concealment, shoot once, zap the guy in the noggin, go back into cover, zap him a second time, fourth state of matter moment be like, and then uh, just shoot him again, or the other guy. Uh, bu 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 you out. can just scoot on over here and shotgun him. Perfect. Target neutralized. All right, and so now we have this area kind of locked down. Uh, you got this. I trust you. Hey, look at you. Killing someone so hard that they are levitating. Alright. With that being done. Let's, uh... 
Overwatch, just make sure we have everything ready. I'm not even gonna bother moving forward because I know the the second I do, we're gonna reveal another pod. So we're just gonna chill here, big chill. And now we move forward. Um, let's push up to here. Hostile pilot detected. Shotgun on target. I'm actually surprised we didn't get spotted. Uh, what I'm not surprised about is the fact that we can't see anything, because, uh, I don't know why this rooftop is stupid, but, boy, is it stupid. Um, how do we want to handle this? Probably grenade. Is there any way we can get a grenade down there? There is a maybe. There is a maybe. Um, okay, let's just go as far as your legs will carry you. Arc a grenade in here. Ooh, not quite. It is exactly far enough that it's not quite. However, no, it's still not. Oh, well. Uh, I don't think that's worth it. Not yet. Uh, where's our other fellow with a grenade? That'd be you. Okay, so you might be able to do it. Yeah, let's move you over to here. And bada bing, bada boom. We give him a present. Not great damage numbers, though. I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh, wow, that is a sizable group. However... However... You know what they're probably in range for? <laughs> Another grenade. Um, now, do we want to use... Do we want to use this grenade or do you want to use a poison? I feel like we probably want to go with a normal grenade. Yeah, let's go with this. Merry Christmas. Nice. Okay, so... Ooh, is that close enough that the other pod might see us? No, but if we get much closer, they will see us. So what are our options here? Um, okay, so that should be able to kill this guy. We're gonna break out of concealment. We have ammo. Yes, we have plenty of ammo. And when I say plenty, I mean two shots. Which is plenty of ammo. Alright, so you're dead. You're not a problem. Now what is a bit of a problem is the fact that you guys aren't dead. Um, oh, you know what we should have and could have done? Is throw a claymore down here first. Oh, that would have been the move. Actually, I don't think it would have. I don't know if we can... Because you can see the bottom right corner of the claymore. And uh, it's only a 3x3. Three three, so that means that the center is on the guy here. Um, so we wouldn't be reaching the other two anyway. We'd only be hitting this one guy. So that wouldn't have made a difference. And the other dude was like over here behind this rock. So this claymore actually wouldn't have done anything of value besides more damage on this guy. Um, do you have any AoEs by chance? I don't think you do. Also, when I said earlier that Quick Zap took away your other abilities, it's because you don't have any other zapping abilities and I'm just dumb. Um, alright, what's the move? I think we sit behind full cover and let them come to us because they're kind of in a position where we can't really come to them without activating the sectopod, which is gonna kick our butt. And we can't really arc attacks at them. So I think we're just gonna overwatch. Uh, you have two shots, or two actions, so let's reload first. And pistol overwatch. Uh, you can only pistol overwatch, so you can just reload. 
you, I guess, are gonna reload as well. And then Overwatch. Ever vigilant. And you, I'm worried about leaving here. So let's. I was say I'd love to reload, but you don't need to reload. So let's just scoot you over here, and you should be a-okay. Okay, so if we're lucky, the sectopod stays gone. Interesting. Very interesting shot. Oh, okay, it's because they climbed up here. Nice. Grazed, less nice. I'm actually not mad about that. The stress of battle is enough to get to anyone. I'm they mad about that though. To give our soldiers plenty of time to rest. Oh my god, there's no way you're gonna miss all three shots, is there? Wow. Wow. That is impressive that you are that that awful shooting. Oh, you're gonna insta stun some Man, I hate you so very much. Oh, I hate stun lancers. They're so annoying. Well, let's see if our um, gunner's just gonna die instantly. No, oh, you're hiding down there still. Okay, no, you didn't die. It's also not stunned anymore. Interesting. All right, where is our sport? Well, if no one else takes damage the rest of this mission, we can keep everyone out of the hospital. Uh. Is it worth healing right now? A second time. How much? 20%. That's still ridiculous that we missed. That would that would have had to have been what? Like a um 60 plus, maybe 70% chance to hit this guy while he was in the smoke. And we missed every shot. And you still can't see anything because uh, line of sight in this game is good. Okay, uh, we're gonna have to move you somewhere. You're not gonna have any cover, but standing out in the open is gonna be better than uh, you just standing there in general. So, where are you? I'm on it. There's a very real chance we don't kill you. Fantastic. Don't have to worry about that real chance. Um, I'm not gonna have you shoot. Oh, but you're disoriented so you can't get a grenade down here. Oh boy. I want you to take out him. Where's the sex ball? They're way over there. I think we'll be okay on that front. Um, is there any way you could get in here and do something useful? No. Is there any way we can actually attack the guy in the smoke, or is he just going to be immune to all damage? Okay, we have a guaranteed chance to hit with you, but that means we're leaving these two alive, which is going to be also annoying. What are you even? Rocketeer. Uh, you do have relocation, right? Okay, so this is what we're going to do, I guess. We have a better chance to hit. Uh, so you have a minus 40, and you have minus 25. All right. Let's get this guy. Target eliminated. Well and then done. rapid target you. And that should bump us up to like 90, 95. I don't remember what kind of uh, hollow target you have. Okay, 90. Come on. Come on. Thank you. I actually did think he was going to miss that. I was going to be very angry. All right. Um, what to do? Probably move away from the exploding vehicle would be my first estimation. Um, second one would be to heal you since you're missing like your entire health bar. Ooh, actually, you're still going to be injured. Ooh, you're missing three health. So yeah, no matter what, someone's gonna be in the hospital. Well, okay, that's not true. You're missing two health, there's a chance you won't be. 
you're missing three, same deal. There's a chance you won't be, but there's also a chance you will be. I don't remember how much armor or how much HP the better armor we got gives, but... Um... You know, if we really, really wanted to, we could launch a grenade down there. So there's... If we kill him, that's going to be... There's two of these guys. There's five enemies remaining. And that we see three of them, so there's probably a pot of five here. Oh, we kind of need... We kind of need... I mean, we have rockets. Rockets are similar to plasma grenades. Oh, yeah, I want this guy dead. It's kind of a waste using a single grenade on him, but I want him dead. Watch as we roll under a five and I just actually have a hernia. Eight. Eight is bigger than five. Quick math. Um, right, let's just move you anywhere that isn't next to a burning cart. And let's move you anywhere that you can actually hit a target. Alright, you just stand there, I guess. We, we just, the solution here is we just have to engage the enemy at a distance where, um, you standing out in the middle of nowhere, uh, isn't an issue. Um, all right, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna back up slightly. Same deal with you, you're gonna back up slightly. And you're also gonna back up slightly. And we're gonna reload. Everyone, well, everyone who needs reloading. Reload in progress. I'm ready. Overwatch all. And now we're gonna fight them. Make sure we're all prepared. Okay, so that shield bearer needs to go. So I think that's our first target here. Um, and you, what we could actually do is have you target the shield bearer. Um, hold on, can you get a claymore over there? Not quite. Uh, it's probably not worth it. The damage you can deal on a single target is probably more valuable. However, I think moving you over slightly is a good call. Yeah, so you go here, shoot the shield bearer. Now, as long as he stays within line of sight, we should have a shot on him. And should be able to take him out. Okay, come on. Don't just sprint off into the void. Okay, he's still within line of sight. Fantastic. Um, we actually can still get value out of Claymores. Oh, that's so annoying. That's exactly... I swear, the game knows what my throwing distance is, and they play around that. Because so every single enemy, except this one guy, is exactly out of range of a Claymore. They know. They know. Okay. Um, what we could do is find our Terminator and get a poison grenade in here because i was thinking of you know actually we might be able to clip him the tree might block our shot here but we're gonna scoot over um the only problem is doing this is gonna lower our damage output substantially Whereas we could do this. Actually, that's still gonna do four to six damage and poison everything. I think that's actually the move. Let's do that. I say four to six damage is definitely nothing to scoff at, and poisoning the target should make them a lot less accurate. Um, the fact that you're standing up scares me. Alright, so, you. We're not going to control that. That's just not going to happen. But, what we could do is move over to here. Here, here. Yes. 
move over to here. Quick zap. We apparently... Do you not have the ability to target? I thought you could zap robots with that. Do you not have that ability yet? Well, that complicates this slightly. Um, well, I mean, might as well use your quick zap on something. Come on, hit. That'd be... That'd be huge. No. Nothing. Nothing is huge. Everything is small. Tiny, if you will. Um, alright. Yep. Let's try to shut it down. So we can shut down the sectoid. I think we can handle the rest of this encounter. I please done it. Oh my god. That was scary. When it didn't zoom by, I was... I immediately felt fear. Alright, so the sect pod is shut down for the time being. Two turns, or two actions. Which leaves three targets left for us to deal with. Um, so we could just zoom in here. And I think we might actually... Kill the priest. Now, I just thought about something. Does bl play... We can zoom in there. Deal some damage to the muton. Actually, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I think... We go here. No, wait. We need... To be within distance of the muton. That means this guy has to die. Okay, hold on. I, I have a huge brain, trust me. It's massive. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm forming thoughts. Neurons are activating. Alright. So. Rapid target. We should be able to kill this muton. That should not be a problem. Assuming we actually land our shots. That is an important step of the... Uh, of this process right now. That That is why I said that's an important step. Because there's a very real chance we just whiff all of our shots because Lord knows I have to suffer. Well, we can't miss this because we are in stealth. Um, and you're also a really good shot, so we can't miss this one. Very good damage. Now, if only we landed that other shot. Um, alright. I need Okay, we're going to we're going to go with part 1 of the plan. So, we're just going to Actually no, hold on. Yes. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, we come in here. Now, this entirely revolves around the priest actually dying. If the priest goes into stasis, this whole plan is Come on, there's a turret. Okay, this, this this complicates things greatly. Because my plan was just shotgun you in the face and then blade storm him. But now the turret being alive complicates our situation substantially. Because we can't just melee him. Because there's a very real possibility he just kills us. Well, I had a good plan. Yeah, because... But my plan was, this muton dies, he's not a problem. Uh, we kill the priest with a sword, um, so he's not a problem. We shotgun this muton, and then we blade storm him when he gets a turn, and that kills this muton, he's not a problem. But, RNG said we just miss this guy, because of course. Uh, the priest went into stasis, because of course. And now, this guy is gonna be basically untouched. Because, I mean, we could commit to the bit, um, but the priest isn't go- Here's the issue. I Bladestorm only activates once, so the priest will probably activate it and the muton will just immediately obliterate us. Unless he dies to poison. Is he poisoned? I don't remember. I mean, he's standing in poison, but I don't remember if that gets cleansed when he's in uh, stasis. And, like, because if it cleanses him and he moves, he will get poisoned. But he won't take poison damage until the following turn. And because of that, he would still get to shoot somebody. A.K.A. our guy just standing here. Alright, let's move you up to here and see what your chances of killing the muton are. Incredibly slim. You wouldn't even believe how slim they are. Alright, well, let's kill the one thing we probably can kill. Unless we also miss.
Please don't miss. Oh, thank God. Okay. Um. If we grapple hook, we could still probably shoot, uh, shoot this turn. But we need someone that has cover that we won't immediately get flanked for. Um, alright. I guess we come up here. This is probably our best option. And there's no world in which you land that shot. So honestly, just take full cover. Moving to position. Well, let's let's see what will happen to the priest. Okay, so he does die to the poison. So hopefully you don't really get to do anything of value. Hopefully you like suppress somebody. No, you're gonna throw a grenade. Yeah, I thought so. And there's no way we could have killed him either, because, like I said, we would have actually had to hit our targets for that to work. Alright, so someone's in, someone's gonna be in the hospital after this mission. That is very frustrating that it happened not because of, like, it's, it's gonna happen entirely because of RNG. Because we're just missing shots we shouldn't. That's, that's frustrating. That's also a low roll, good lord. Alright, let's, um, move down to here. Ooh, the problem is those, those sectopod is gonna come back very soon. That really makes the situation annoying. Heading out! So we have to kill, ideally, both of these things now. Okay, Bladestorm should theoretically kill you. Ooh. Okay, let's let's devote our attention to this guy. Does anyone have a hollow targeter that can hollow target? Not quite. Um, yeah, we're gonna combat protocol you. Man, that did not do quite as- I mean, that dealt a good amount of damage, but that didn't do as much damage as I would have loved. Alright, chain shot, please don't miss your first hit. A grazing a hit, we'll take it. Alright, I was, I was gonna come kill the Muton with him, and that's why he's so close there. But I realized the Sectopod needs to die, and the Sectopod needs to die now. However, I'm starting to wonder if that's gonna happen. Ooh, big hit. Ooh, but the problem is, it's not happening. Maybe we could have... No, that's a concussion rocket. Honestly, maybe we could have used a shredder rocket, but we don't have a shredder rocket. The Muton's gonna live. That's bad. That's really... Or the Sectopod's gonna live. That's really bad. That's really, really bad. Well, we could... I'll say we could maybe try to flamethrower the this guy, but whatever. Hmm. So you should get blade stormed and die. And if we're lucky, the sectopod just doesn't immediately shoot him and kill him. Get blade stormed, idiot. Hostile terminated. Please don't murder us. I think that's an action, maybe? No, that's a free action, I think. Ouch. Berserk that could actually work here. Especially if we land a single hit. Please. Please hit him. Thank you. It should not hurt us, right? No, it, of course. Ten miles up in the air, we still get hit by it. Oh, I'm gonna throw. 
Okay, well, we had one more heal we could have used, but it would have just gone on one of these two. We couldn't have healed him. Uh, ugh, that's so frustrating. It's such a frustrating mission. Like, so many things went wrong just because of RNG. Like, I, I, all things considered, I feel like my strategy was pretty solid. Like, obviously, I could have done things better, I'm sure. The only thing that I feel like truly went wrong this mission was just constantly missing shots or grazing hits because um, Roll the Dice just said, get pranked, idiot. So that's really frustrating. Uh, but on the plus side, though, we're going to have... Um, Run and gun for sure. And then uh, Kenjutsu for sure. Wrath would be nice, but it's not that imperative. And for you, Field Surgeon. Field Surgeon. <laughs> Please. <laughs> we need Field Surgeon. Ah, uh, so we're missing Arc Pulsar. Okay, so. What do we want here? All of these would be very good. Bonus to hit would be very, very good. Um, interference is very handy whenever enemies overwatch. Revival protocol, pretty good. Yeah, that's good. I want to be able to take out me uh, mech enemies, and I think we could probably buy one or two more abilities for you. I think interference, and then I think one more. So disorience, when it misses, is very handy, but a uh, bonus to hit would be probably better. But revival pro- now nah, we're going stun gunner. Ooh, okay. Very annoying mission. And a very long mission, because I'm looking at the recording and it's an hour and 30 minutes. So, I think that is where I'm going to end this episode. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.